segment four, the medium itself. Talk radio. Rush, Sean Hannity, Hugh Hewitt, Laura Ingram, Michael Medved, on and on. Air America, the left-wing attempt to launch a talk radio station, belly up, gone. Cable TV, there's Fox News, and then there's everybody else. But print journalism, broadcast television, politically you get a completely different complexion. Why is it that conservative or free market or simply pugnacious journalism tends to thrive in talk radio and cable cable news operations, but these other media seem to be dominated by liberals. Is there something about the mediums, the media themselves? What's going on there? What are the two that are dying out? Broadcast and print journalism. Um, and cable and talk radio are still going up. That's because people respond to them. People have a right, you know, if you're going to do Air America and present all liberal views, that's fine. But those people aren't funny. They don't, they aren't funny. They, they're worried about the snail darters and the bark on the tree and the oza, and then they, they go crazy because it's hard to sell some of those points of view. It's hard to sell that you want to have a chat with Ahmadinejad. It's hard to sell that a $12 trillion deficit's a great idea. It's hard to sell that. So they attack conservatives and say these are mean, horrible people because they don't want to spend their money. I think that's what the problem is. They're not very entertaining. If I produced Air America, I'd make it entertaining. They're just and bad journalism. They're well, just no, bad journalism. No, no, they're okay. I mean, and they were great journalists in broadcast. I mean, you know, broke on these guys. They were great journalists. Good professionals. Uh, you know, they were good professionals. And uh, but the journalism schools today are wildly to the left, and so they say we're wildly to the right. It's just not true. They can come on and say that on our air. You see, Roger. Fox News is defeated. CNN in the ratings every year for something like eight years now. Now, I can understand it if Pepsi has trouble catching up with Coke because there's a secret, f secret formula. But what you do is right there. You turn on the dial and it's on. Hours and hours and hours of Fox News. Why is it that there is some, that, they, that CNN and MSNBC are culturally or organizationally incapable of doing what they need to do to catch up. Believe it or not, I knew Colonel Sanders. When I was a young, I worked at WTAP in Parkersburg, West Virginia when I was in college. And I used to stop at Colonel Sanders' original restaurant. Really? Down in, yeah, down in uh, Marietta, I think, Ohio, right before the bridge. And I'd drive down there at night. So Fox News has a secret formula, and we're never going to tell anybody what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so. That's it. I learned a lot from Colonel Sanders. <laughs> no, but what, why can't they, what is it that, that it, it's in their head somehow that CNN won't stoop to do what Fox does? Well, they, they, even they, though they, 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 we got to look down to find them. I mean, the stu idea of stooping to our level is just ridiculous. I mean, they do everything we do in terms of tabloid journalism, only worse, okay? But it's not that. It's, the, the, there, are, there are several factors. Somebody asked okay. me how I picked talent. So I sat down and wrote a list, because I'm going to do a book one of these days. Okay. And I had 26 items of how I picked talent. Just I quickly said, how do I do it? And there were 26 items. The first one was, do I hate their agent? Because if I hate their agent, they're never even going to get an interview. So, <laughs> you know, I, I mean, there are ways you do these things. Fox anchor Neil Cavuto once asked GE chairman Jeff Immelt how he planned to improve GE's cable news operation, MSNBC. They may sell it soon, but they still own it for now. Immelt's reply, quote, I think the standard right now is Fox. I want to be as interesting and edgy as you guys are, close quote. MSNBC seems to be trying to be a niche player on the left. Are they doing a good job? Are they misreading you as saying, oh, you've got the niche on the right, we'll try to take the left? Well, What's going on there? Well, I, I'm not going to help them. I mean, uh, you know, I, I think that every one of these networks has talented people, and many of them are friends of mine, uh, believe it or not. And I, I don't want to disparage what they do. I think that if you understand America, people say, well, it's a center-right nation, and there's some truth to that. I mean, in the end, there are simple things that the American people believe in. It's the reason 
John Wayne is still the top one in the top five movie stars of all time. He's been dead for 40 years. Uh, but you always knew about him. Don't touch my woman, don't steal my horse, and don't ever draw a gun on me. Otherwise, <laughs> we we're going to we're gonna get along fine. <laughs> uh, Americans uh, are, are simple, but not simpletons. They're very smart. They, they love their family. They love their flag. Uh, they think schools have gone off the edge and killed American history, and they have. And uh, they think they ought to get to keep some of their own money. I mean, it's pretty simple pretty stuff. Pretty simple stuff.